Megan Simmons uh, became a little famous back in 2010 when she got arrested for a DUI. Now that sounds really, really strange. Why would someone get famous for that? Well, uh, she's very attractive and she took an attractive mugshot. So it went viral on the internet and people started using it for memes. Now, uh, she said that she was loving the attention and uh, if she would get an offer by Playboy, she would happily do it. She hasn't gotten an offer, but she did look to capitalize off of this mugshot that made her a little famous. Well, uh, there is a company known as instantcheckmate.com that does background checks on people, and they've apparently used her image uh, for their advertising. She is suing them because she feels uh, that this is an invasion of her privacy, and that they used her image without asking her for permission ahead of time. Okay, so it's kind of a funny suit, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, you say, <laughs> I got a mugshot, you're not allowed to use my mugshot. Well, we can certainly use it in news stories, uh, whether you could use it in a calendar is an interesting question. Yeah. And has it been used in a calendar before, Anna? I don't know if her image has been used in a calendar, but my understanding of the law is that if you, now the mugshot belongs to the state, right? Right. However, obviously it's not being used for any type of financial gain. However, if you're a company and you use someone's image, uh, for financial gain. That person can sue you for invasion of privacy. How about all the people who did those memes online? Well, they didn't get, They didn't make any money off of those memes. It was more for shits and gigs. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, first of all, I understand why they're doing the memes. I understand why she's in a calendar. Mm -hmm. You have to give her credit. Credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. That was an awfully hot mugshot. I mean, if you're going to get a mugshot, that would be the way to go. Okay. I just love that and someone I like can get arrested for a DUI and they they get celebrated and applauded just because they're attractive. Like that's the country we live in. Fair is fair. Yeah. Anna. Fair is fair. Yeah. Okay. Now, and it's not just that she's attractive. She had just the right pouty look. Like, oh. She really does have a pouty it, right, look. Like, she like oh. puckered her lips a little like, bit. Like even though she's been a naughty girl, she's looking at you like you've been a naughty, naughty boy. You see what I'm saying? No, I don't. Okay, but, but I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, my official ruling on this is that she's right. You can't put her in a calendar and make money off of it mm -hmm. without her permission, even if she got arrested. That appears to be the law, so come I, on, dude. I, I just love the way that this uh, suit is written. Um, so she alleges uh, that she is seeking monetary damages and an injunction to prevent further use of the image, and she claims that the exposure invaded her privacy and disturbed her peace of mind. At the end of the day, this is actually about intellectual property, according to her attorney. If someone is going to use your image, they need to pay for it. But that is actually totally true. So I think she's right. I think she's right. Yeah. Uh, I, ironically, appropriately, I don't know. Not guilty.